my vivid image from the revolution that I keep going back to is my father coming back home after he had been out and we had no idea where he was and my mom had been crying. And we were hearing all these rumors on TV that uh, the terrorists are coming and they're shooting at the people. So he walked in and on his arm was this uh, kind of like shiny, strange Romanian flag. I remember him crying. First time I saw him cry. There was just so much hope and people were chanting freedom, you know, libertate, libertate. And so you can, you can hear it all over again. That feeling that we could really do anything, be free in this country. Now, Romania is second in the world after Syria in terms of the increase of immigration over the past, I think, 10 years. So I went to middle school and then high school here in Bucharest, and then I had the privilege of being admitted to Stanford University in the U.S. After Stanford, I did a double master's at Harvard in business and public policy. But at the end of the day, I felt that my impact would be much higher by coming back. And uh, a year ago, uh, launched a uh, political platform, a new political party called Pact for Romania. Păi e foarte simplu, dar în momentul în care faci pasul, noi am văzut ce ni s-a întâmplat și nouă, nu? Când eram doar în Liga Studenților Români Străinătate, în 2008-2009, toată lumea ne bătea pe spate, ne mângâia pe cap, tinerii noștri străluciți la diverse școli. Tineri își fac un partid, jap, securiști, jap, sărăși, jap, idioți. If you don't um, create a society where corruption is punished, you can't call it a free society. It's not freedom. Grevă japoneză în Bolintin, grevă japoneză în toată țara, la Neamț, la Constanța, în Tortoman, la București. Știți ce se întâmplă în Parlament în aceste zile? Free Romania, România cu adevărat liberă. I think the hardest part is uh, getting rejected, you know, talking to people and and them questioning your integrity, questioning your intentions. Uh, questioning your drive, questioning your motivations. You, you almost, uh, in, a, in a Kafkian sense, you start questioning yourself. You know, did I do this for the right reason? Am I here to really change things? Or am I in this for, the, for power or for, for the true reasons? I was a kid when the revolution happened, but certainly my parents, uh, my grandparents have talked to me about those things and have educated me on what it means to live in a, in a non-free society. You know, my daughter, hopefully, will never live through a time where and in a society where here in Romania she can't speak her mind. The most important lesson that America has taught me is to have courage. But it was my choice, and not just my choice, my family's choice, to come back. 
And you might ask why it took me 12 years. It took my grandfather passing away to remind me that time's passing by and he said these words on his deathbed to me. In life you do what you must, not what you can. But if it's a conscious choice, in my mind I'm still a free person. In my mind I'm more free than not making the choice that also responds to this sense of duty, to this responsibility to give back. The secret ingredient is freedom. No secret ingredient. Oh, there's no secret ingredient. <laughs> <laughs>